This is the first video in leaving cert coordinate geometry. Now, if you are not brilliant at leaving cert at coordinate geometry, you need to go back and look at the three videos in JC coordinate geometry and their numbered coordinate geometry one, two, and three. There's approximately 32 minutes of videos. It shows you how to use these formulas in a logical way without having to actually think about the formula using um different different approaches to each of them so we're gonna in leaving cert coordinate geometry be, be introduced to new formula which we're gonna look at too so the first one is the derivation of a line segment in the ratio a to b and this is the formula that's given on page 18 of the formula booklet now i think there's a better approach than using the formula again so a logical approach to these questions is always the best way in maths but i'll do it both ways so i'll do my logical approach and then we look at, at just plugging the information into the formula. So if we just jot down here, A is minus 2, 4, minus 2, minus 4, and B is 6, 12. So if I just do a little diagram here, A and B, and we want to divide this line segment up in a ratio of 3 to 1. So let's put our point here, C. So this is 3 and this is 1. So if we just look at the relationship between A and B, what happens between A and B? So I'm looking at my x value first. My x value goes from minus 2 up to 6, which is a jump of 8. So if we look at my ratio 3 to 1, we have 3 quarters and we have 1 quarter. That's the ratio of 3 to 1. 3 and 1 is 4, and each one is put over the denominator of 4. So if I want to jump 8 to get the full distance, to jump, my x value is going to jump 3 quarters of the distance. So 3 quarters of 8 is 6, so I want to jump 6 for my x. So I'm jumping from minus 2, I'm at minus 2, and I want to jump 6. So I've got to get jump to 4. The other way to look at it is um, 3 quarters, as a, or 6 as a ratio, 3 to 1 is 6 to 2. So it's the same ratio, 3 to 1 and 6 to 2 are the same. So if I jump 6, I get the 4. If I jump another 2, I get to the number 6. So we have our x value. It's a jump of 8. In total, I'm jumping 6 and jumping 2. So let's look at my y value. My y value, I'm going from minus 4 up to 12. So my y value, minus 4 to 12, is a jump of 4 and 12, 16. So the ratio... 16 as at the, as the same ratio 3 to 1 is 12 to 4 so i need to jump 12 and jump 4 so i'm at minus 4 here and i want to jump 12 so i need to jump 4 and 8 which is going to get me to 8 and if i jump another 4 i'm going to get to 12. so the answer is 4 8. so that's just using the logical approach now let's look at the formula so if you want to apply the formula now it's easy to apply a formula to any set of coordinates that were given but i think if you have to go to the formula booklet to get this formula in the pressure of an exam situation it just shows that you haven't really pre prepared enough for the exam so for me the non-formula use if it can is a better way to approach any maths question so let's just apply this information into the formula here the ratio is three to one that's a to b so bx1 is one by minus two x1 plus a which is 3 by x2 which is 6 all over 1 plus 3 that's my x part then if we apply it to the y part we have a 1 by a 4 y1 plus a 3 by a 12 which is y2 all over 1 plus three now some people prefer this method and that's perfectly fine so whatever you choose so on top here we have 18 minus 2 i'll put the plus number first over 4 which is 16 over 4 which is 4 and for the y part i have 4 plus 36 over 4 let's just see my mistake it was a minus four so minus four and then that's going to be 32 over four which is eight so whatever approach you choose to use is absolutely fine so this is derivation of a line segment so test yourself on the next question coming up 
So pause the video and test yourself on this one. And uh, little hint here is to do a little sketch first. Okay, let's look at the solution. A and B. A and B. A is four six. B is what we're looking for, X, Y. And C is somewhere along here. And C is A12. Now, using your logical method, we're jumping from four to eight, which is a jump of four. And four represents a jump of two. So what represents a jump of one? Well, it would have to be two. So we're jumping another two to get to 10. With my six, six jumps to 12, which is a jump of six, which represents a jump of two. So a jump of one will be three, and 12 and three is 15. So we use the formula here. Just write the formula down again, bx1 plus ax2 over b plus a. And we have by1 plus ay2 over b plus a. And we write our point down. My first point a is 4, 6. My second point b is x, y. And my answer to the question is a12. So let's apply the x part first. So b, the ratio is 2 to 1. So b is 1. So we have 1 by x1, which is 4. This 4 here. Plus a, which is 2, times x2, which we don't know. It's this x here. Over 2 plus 1, or 1 plus 2. So that's my x value. Now, if I, if I simplify this down, I'm going to get 2x plus 4 over 3. And what's that equal to? It's equal to my answer, 8. So 2x plus 4 is equal to 24. 2x is equal to 20. x is equal to 10. Which is what we got here in much, much simpler form. So maybe this would encourage you to use the logical method, by1. So we have a 1 by a 6, y1 here. Plus a, which is 2. We don't know what y is, over 2 plus 1 is going to give me 2y plus 6 over 3 is equal to my answer, which is 12. 2y plus 6 is equal to 36. 2y is equal to 30. y is equal to 15, which is what we got here. So you picked the method for this first new formula in Leaving Sarah Coordinate Geometry, dividing a line in a ratio or dividing a line segment up in a given ratio.